Rafael Nadal and Simona Halep will defend the French Open titles at Roland Garros, where play gets underway on Sunday. World number 1 duo Novak Djokovic and Naomi Osaka will both bid to extend their winning runs at Grand Slams while Roger Federer returns to the Paris clay for the first time in four years. Here, Press Association Sport picks out 10 other players who could make headlines. The 27-year-old Dutch woman was having such a tough time at the end of the 2017 season that she considered retirement. 18 months later, Burton's is ranked fourth in the world. Beating Halep to win the biggest title of her career in Madrid earlier this month was a major statement and she already has experience of success at Roland Garros having reached the last four in 2016. Number 27 feels amazing. Trophy I had such a fun week in Stuttgart and this title is the icing on the cake. Thanks to the tournament and the fans for making it a special one heartpick.twitter.com slash mqxl did a 5h Petra Kvitova at Petra. Kvitova April 28, 2019 Kvitova has been the most prolific title winner on the WTA Tour over the past two seasons and reached her first Grand Slam final for five years at the Australian Open. A tough loss saw Osaka hit top spot in the rankings instead but Kvitova is now among the favourites on every surface. Serena Williams played her only match on clay so far this season in Rome before withdrawing through injury. Gregorio Borgia app Williams build-up would suggest she is unlikely to last long in the city she considers her second home but she has proved many times she can turn it on at the Grand Slams. A knee problem that has curtailed her reduced schedule even further is a concern. The 37-year-old won the last of her three French Open titles in 2015, the Czech teenager burst onto the scene in 2017, stalled in 2018 but is now making big strides once more. Vondrasova has reached two WTA Tour finals this season as well as the quarterfinals of the big tour events in Indian Wells and Miami. Her scalps include two wins over Halep, most recently on clay in Rome last week. Eyebrows were raised when leading coach Sasha Bajin chose to work with Miladinovic after his surprise split from Osaka following the Australian Open. The confident Frenchwoman suffered an astonishing slump after reaching the quarterfinals in Paris in 2017 but she has achieved some notable recent results and may offer the best chance for home success. Sublime. He was well beaten by the Spaniard on that day but defeated him on clay for the fourth successive season in Barcelona last month and went on to win the title. Gracias para Total Madrid Spain at Mutua Madrid Open The 20-year-old was shattered by the manner of his defeat by Nadal in the last four but turned the table superbly when they met on clay in Madrid earlier this month. Fully believes he is ready to win a slam. If rankings were determined on talent alone, Fognini would be a top 10 stalwart. Consistent application has never been the Italian's strong point but he showed what he is capable of by beating Nadal to win his first Masters title in Monte Carlo in April. At 31, he may at last be ready to deliver. How face with monocle at Felix Dennis in fine form at the at Miami Open clapping hands movie camera tennis TV pick dot twitter dot com slash qz boan us atp tour at atp underscore tour march 22nd 2019 not an easy name to remember but definitely not one to forget. The breakthrough star of 2019 on the men's side has undoubtedly been the 18 year old Canadian who will be seeded at Roland Garros. This year is probably too soon for him to make a big impact at the slams but he has already reached a clay court final in Rio as well as the semi-finals in Miami, hard final Houston. Pig.twitter.com slash FMVML3W2P2, Christian Garin at Garin. Chris April 13, 2019 A new name on the ATP tour, Garin will be one to avoid in the draw given his form on clay this season.
The 22-year-old is the only player outside the top 10 to have won two titles in 2019. He will be making his main draw debut at Roland Garros but won the junior title in 2013, beating Borna Korik and Alexander Zverev. Let's block ads. Why?